Good morning. Let's take you through the 716 in two minutes. Here's what's making headlines. It's Tuesday. This is breaking while you were sleeping. One man was seriously hurt, hit by a car. Lewiston Police tells his 36 year old was hit on Center Street just before 10 last night. Crews found him lying in the road. Mercy Flight took him to ECMC. We don't have any word on any charges. As we learn more, we'll update you. Happening now, some long term caregivers across Western New York are going on strike, calling for better pay and working conditions. Health care union members began striking outside the facilities in Buffalo and the South Towns at 7 o'clock this morning. Strikes will continue tomorrow in the North Towns in Niagara County. And today is the second annual skydive over Niagara Falls. Starting at 6 30 tonight, you can see jumps from helicopters, biplanes, and airplanes. That is if Mother Nature doesn't mm -hmm. cooperate. If she doesn't, the event happens tomorrow. Josh, what do you think? That's this evening at 630. I think we might be able to squeeze it in. There will be a couple of showers potentially in the vicinity south of there. Otherwise, it will be rain free. We are going to find plenty of humidity, though, throughout the day today. And into this evening, it will start to dry out. The clouds will tend to linger. There will be some sun for tomorrow, but it turns unsettled into the afternoon with the approach of a disturbance. Temperatures, they've been into the 70s here largely. You can see most of the showers from the overnight have since faded away and now the story is really one of just uh, humidity and some partial hazy sunshine as we show you here in the seven day forecast 78 should do it for a top temp today 79 for tomorrow with a couple of those showers it does dry out later in the afternoon then sunshine rain supreme from hilltop to lake shore with highs in the upper 70s to near 80 thursday and friday low and mid 80s for the weekend